Grand Alley One. I may be a little emotional today because I just found out that we're allowed to open May 26th. So I'm very excited. But anyway, until then, we're going to continue our classes online because you can at least keep going until we get open again and you can come back to the studio. So we're going to start in first position, two demi plies in first position, and a grand plie. And remember that in that grand plie, you have to keep your back straight. You want to pretend like you're sliding down that blue wall back there. Or put your back against the refrigerator. If you're in the kitchen, just slide down the wall. Okay? Same thing in second position, two demi plies and a grand plie in second position. Tendu into fifth position, two demi plies, tendu and switch feet, two demi plies, and tendu come back to first position. Then we'll do four relevés in first position. We'll back away from the bar and do our cambray forward and back. Okay? So you'll follow, it's gonna be slow. Two demi plies and one grand plie, second position. Two demi plies and one grand plie. Fifth position, two demi plies and a tendu to switch. Fifth position, two demi plies and a tendu to first position. Four relevés in first position. Back away from your bar, cambray forward. Now, do you let your knees go all wobbly? Do you bend your knees so you can get your hands on the floor? No. You keep your, arm, your legs straight and you get as far as you can. If you can only go this far, that's okay. Okay, if you can go all the way down, great, go all the way down. But you keep your legs straight and you keep your tummy pulled in. All right, let me get my music and my water and we will get started. As you can see, I'm a little discombobulated. excited. First position. Heels together. Seven and eight. Demi plie one. And pull your legs up tight and plie and pull them up tight. And halfway down, all the way down, halfway up and up and point your foot to the side and stand in second position. Now stand up nice and tall. Ribs pulled up, tummy pulled in, and six, keep those legs nice and tight. Seven, here we go in second position. And demi plie one. And stretch up, and plie, and stretch, and halfway down, keep your back straight. And halfway up, and stretch your legs. Now shift your weight, tendu, strong, strong foot. Stand up tall over here. Stretch. 
hard time used to the side, four times used to the back, and four more relevés. Okay? So in those relevés, you have to remember that once you start to lift your heels, your knees start to straighten. So everything gets there at the same time. And then once you start to bend your knees, your heels go to the floor. Yeah? Your heels go down to the floor every single time. Four times front, count along with the music. It's pretty obvious that music, okay? Four side, four back, four real bass. First position. And six, hands in front of you, hands in the bar. Right foot. And point front. then your right foot closes in front. Okay? Four times around, plie releve susu. We're going to spring up, plie up. We're going to balance, and then you're going to release one foot and roll down softly into your plie. Okay? We don't ever fall down from our plie. Right leg front, fifth position. Six and seven and eight, point front. And close fifth. And to the side. Close back.
right, second side. Left leg front. And point front. Close fifth. And point side. Close back. Tondu back. Close fifth. And tondu side. Close front. And point front. Close fifth. And point side. Close back. And tondu back. Close fifth. And point side. And close front. Swing our leg front and back. All right. 
But the catch is, with a balançoire and in ballet, you have to go from first position because your legs stay turned out when we dance. All right? So we're in first position. We're going to brush the front, close first, to the back, close first, to the front, close first, to the back, close first. We'll do eight like that, and then we'll do eight more, not stopping in first position, moving through it. But the catch is, you still have to go through that first position. First position, first position. Just like when we do our one de you go through first position, all right? So eight stopping in first position, and eight continuous. And then we'll balance in our arabesque line, remembering that that back foot has to be pointed, not sickle, not soft, okay, but pointed, pointed, pointed. First position. And seven and eight, brush front. And close to first, and brush back, and close first, brush front, close first, brush back, and close first, and brush point, and close first, and brush back, and close first, brush point, close first, and brush back. Okay, you ready? Here we go. And brush front, first, brush back, first, brush front, first, back, first, front, first, back. First, front, first, back, point that back foot, balance. Close, first position, demi plie, and finish. Alrighty, second side, left leg, six and seven and eight, brush front, and close first, and point back, and close first, right in front of you, and in, and right in back of you. Close first, and brush front, and close first, and brush back, close first, and brush, and in, and brush back, close first, here we go, and front, first, back, first, front, first, back, first, front, first, back, first, front, first, back. First, back.
accent of the music. Okay, Rondeshams, Rondeshams on the oar. Time to front Rondesham, side Rondesham, back, making a half circle. Front to the side, to the back, and close first. Four times with the right foot, four times with the left foot. Then we're gonna take our stretch over to the right, and our stretch over to the left, and then we're gonna take that same arm and take our stretch to the back, and then to the back. And we'll relevate balance, taking the arms up to high fifth, and on your balance, we're gonna take our arms down to second position, low fifth, and back up to high fifth. And try to keep your balance, try not to let your feet move around. Four Rondeshams on the or with the right foot, four Rondeshams on the or with the left foot. Stretch to the right, stretch to the left. Right arm back, left arm back. Releve, take the arms, we're gonna start with our arms up in high fifth, and the releve balance. Arms to the side, arms all the way down, and back all the way up, all right? First position. Whoops, not that. Five and six, arms seven, and hands to the wall. And turn to front one, and side, and back. Beautiful first position. How tall are you standing on this leg? And to the side, and to the back. Two. 
today. Okay? Frappe. Frappe means to knock or strike. It's a strong action, unlike those rond jumps, which are so smooth, right? So, if you remember, sur la courpie means my foot is wrapped around my ankle, but my foot is pointed, okay? It's pointed. My heel's in front of me, and my toes are in back of me, wrapped around my ankle, like it's hugging my ankle, all right? So I wrap the foot, I drop the toes flat on the floor, and I push point. Wrap, drop, push point. Wrap, drop, push point. Wrap, drop, push point. So if you remember, I say sometimes that a nice way to remember it is that you go to your friend's house. You knock on the door. They open the door, you go inside, and you have to be still to take a picture. Wrap, go, knock on the door, go inside, take a picture. Go to the house, knock, go inside, take a picture. Okay, we're going to do seven frappes to the side and then a tollier. And remember, tollier means to rock, all right? Rock to the other foot, and then we'll do seven on the other side. Okay, first position. Standing up nice and tall, tummy's pulled in. Oops, sorry.
back, side, and front, V8. All right? So we're going to do eight of them slow, and then we're going to pick them up a little bit so you can get into the rhythm of a pot of braid. Because when you get into the rhythm of the pot of braid, you get it into your body, into your muscles a little bit better. All right? So eight slow, and then we'll do eight fast. Or more quickly, I should say. starts out pretty slow. We can do balance ace to that. Let's do balance ace to that music. Ah, this is great. This is good music. Okay, here we go. Right foot is in front. Remember, you're going to use your back foot first. So your left foot. Six and seven and one, two. Balance is used for so many things in ballet, so many things. It's important that you have the, the ability to both make it soft and beautiful and also have your feet pointed the whole time. And those two things kind of contradict each other, don't they? Soft, sharp. So you have to be able to do that. That's hard to do. All right, jumps. Yeah. So, if you were to not plie very far, 
you would not get a very high jump because how deep you plie is in relation to how high you can get up in the air. All right? So I want to plie way down here. And then I'm not going to straighten my knees before I jump. I'm going to jump from here. Push point. All right? My feet don't go way out to the side. They go a little bit. They want to look like first position, second position in the air, maybe a small second position. All right? Eight so taste at first. Eight and seven. Six and seven, plie, eight, push one. Knees or toes. Point two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. Good. Rest. Second position. And so day one. Thank you. 
and finish. And then we're going to sway like our balance, say one and two and three and come up. First position, second position. First position, third position, switch, switch. All the way around and sway and sway and sway. Right? First position, please. And first position, and second position, and a breath, and come down. And first position, and third position, switch, and switch. Arms go all the way around. that we've been doing for the past couple of weeks. Let's work some angotes without the bar. Easy to do even in a small space. You don't have to have a lot of room to do an angote. All right? So put your hands on your hips. And remember that you have to plie and point your other foot. Plie one foot, point the other one. And then we jump change. And jump change. And jump change. And jump change. All right? I'm just changing it. We're just going to go to the front today because back is trickier. Might need the bar at the back. But we'll just go to the front. 16 angotes. If you remember, amboite means boxed in, which is what we've all felt like these past couple of months. I put my right leg in front, I put my left elbow front. 
And then if I put my left leg in front, I put my right. So it's just like I'm going like this. Okay, let's do it again. First position. Plie point. 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 Switch. 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 And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. Let's do our spotting exercises and then we will sit down on the floor and stretch. Okay, now, spotting exercises are so important for your pirouettes, yeah, and your chine turns and all those things. So I'm looking right at the camera and I'm going to keep my head looking right at the camera and I'm going to turn my body and then I'm going to whip my head around so my head gets there first and then I keep going. My feet don't stop. Right? My feet don't stop moving. It's just that my head slows down and then catches up and gets ahead of, okay? So, so my head is the last thing to leave, but the first thing to arrive, all right? A to the right, then we'll do A to the left. And six, I'm looking right at you. Seven and eight, and I turn my body. And I turn my head. And I turn my body. And look up to 
the ceiling. splits. Okay, now remember, one hand on either side of your foot. Okay. Whoops. We're going to slide down. Now, if you can't get all the way down, it's okay, but you want to stay there for a second. Okay, you don't want to just pop right back up again. A stretch, a split is a stretch. All right. So if I can only go this far, then I just stay here for a few seconds. And if I can go further, I go further. But you stay there for a few seconds. Other side. One hand on either side of your foot. And down to your spine. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be sending out information about reopening soon. Probably not going to have our littlest ones open too soon because we want to um, make sure that everything goes smoothly at the beginning and older kids will be able to figure that out more quickly then we'll bring you back okay i can't wait to see you and i hope you've enjoyed these summer classes but we will i will come back with another one next week okay bye bye <laughs>